What is up guys and welcome to my audio setup video. I've used a couple different hardware devices. I know a lot of people use things like virtual audio cable, but I've had good luck just using uh, things like this inbox and this firebox. Two things that I've had throughout my just working in audio. Um, these have just been my little personal rigs for home use. And what's nice about these is if you're using an external mic, like a condenser USB or a condenser, not a USB, uh, you can use one of these USB kind of devices. This one obviously uses FireWire. I had to take my FireWire card out of my home theater PC. Uh, but this obviously has a microphone input, so if you're using XLR, like I said, you're gonna need one of these anyway. And then also has line inputs. Um, so this is actually a two input device, and then it has a uh, headphone out. And what really makes this viable is it has this little switch here, which changes between um, the what would essentially be your game audio and then your Skype audio. So this would be, say, all game audio, and this would be all Skype audio in your microphone. So it's kind of a hardware mix right there. It's very much like the Astro Mix amp that has that. That's a, a decent option. I've been using this for a while, but I uh, recently remembered that the Firebox comes with some really nice software that I'll get into here in a second. But basically what this has is one, two, and on the back there's three, four inputs. Um, so I can have two microphones and then two line inputs, or if I had extra preamps, uh, I could plug in four microphones. Uh, but basically what I do with this device, since um, it only has one output, it either has your left, right, or it has your headphone output, uh, I had to take the output out of my internal sound card off of my motherboard to use for Skype and then I'd plug that into input 2 here. Um, sorry if this is sounding confusing, it's kind of simple once you get into it, but basically what you're trying to do is make your microphone and your Skype audio or your TeamSpeak audio come in on two separate tracks. So you have to physically do that somewhere with these hardware devices. It's essentially what uh, virtual audio cable is doing inside your computer, but this is doing it externally. It's taking your microphone, taking your Skype audio, uh, but you have to have two outputs. So um, this works. It only has this little mixer, like I was saying before, but the Firebox has uh, the four inputs and six outputs. So I have my microphone coming in here, and then back here, I have uh, my Skype audio out, and then my Skype audio in. So I record my Skype audio directly from the audio track, and then I can monitor it because I'm going also into this device. So give me just a second to set up uh, my screen capture software, and I will go over how all of that works. Alrighty guys, I'm looking back into Windows. I'm going to explain how all of this works really quickly. Um, it's really quite simple when you break it down. Uh, just remember, audio is just inputs and outputs. I don't know how many times I heard that while I was in school. <laughs> my professors pounded that into my head. It's just inputs and outputs. So we gotta have an input, and then we gotta have a way to listen to it back. So that's the output. So obviously input, my microphone, that's coming into the Firebox 1 and 2 in Windows. Unfortunately, Windows sees uh, anything labeled 1 and 2 as a stereo track. So obviously you saw in the very beginning of this video, my microphone is only coming in in one mono line through that XLR cable. Uh, so that's coming in 1, but it's wanting to see 1 and 2. So what I can do in DX Tori is set it just to record a mono track. And that will alleviate uh, having to combined audio tracks later in Vegas and it's just taking up more room it's making a bigger file when it's recording in stereo so you can see in here that's my microphone that's a mono track and then that's Skype audio that's a mono track so it's the same way here I'll just record Skype in mono even though it's wanting to come out stereo so I'll just make a quick test noise here so obviously that's what I would be hearing over my Skype line it would be coming out of three and four and that was coming through 3 and 4 in this um, pre-Sonus box here, and then it would be recording in DX Tori in 3 and 4. Very, very straightforward, extremely easy. Um, so that takes care of the recording side of things. Everything recording is completely on its own, but the main problem we have with this, if it's coming out 3 and 4, we have no way to listen to that. So into uh, the piece of software that makes all of this so incredibly handy and easy to use. So. Um, the very basics of it is this allows me to monitor each of my inputs. 
So as you notice behind the firebox, I had that cable that was looping out and back into itself. Basically that's coming out of three and then back into three, which is three on this mixer, what I can hear. So this is my microphone. It's coming through here. You can probably hear me twice a little bit there, but I can monitor my own microphone, make sure that's working. Then I can monitor Skype right here. So that's really, really nice. And um, as you can see, when we get into something like Vegas, uh, my levels are staying all the same while I can tweak to my heart's content on this end. You can see I still have nice Bandwidth. levels. What does that mean? Ing? Probably. Even though on my firebox, my levels look something like this, which would make my microphone volume appear to be really low, but in all reality, it was recording straight out of the microphone cable into the DxTory software, and this was only affecting my end of things, not the recording end of things. So super duper helpful. This is how you can monitor uh, everything that's going on inside of your computer uh, without tweaking uh, your recording settings. So things like um, TeamSpeak and your microphone and your game audio, rather than uh, having to get those all right uh, the first time, Boom, this takes care of it for you. Uh, extremely handy. I'll leave the links to everything you might need uh, in the description. This is proprietary software, but keep in mind a lot and a lot of companies come out with software just like this for um, USB and Firewire devices. So if you have uh, an XLR microphone and have um, a USB device like I have or a Firebox, you can probably download something like this from their website and use it just like how I showed. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. I mean, honestly, I'm a, like a hands-on learner, so a lot of this stuff I have to go in and do myself to figure it out and <laughs> just play with it a lot. You can turn and tweak different things, and uh, it's pretty cool. So I hope that helps you guys. If you're already looking at getting an XLR microphone, you can look into getting uh, a nice external uh preamp and everything like that and then use software such as this to get it all up and working thank you for checking out the video guys and i will talk to you later